Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you how to paint a nuthatch in January's tutorial. Today I am going to paint a little nuthatch and they are cute little birds that live in Canada, in British Columbia where I live. And they can sort of crawl up and down trees um, vertically. So this one's on a slight angle. And I'm going to try using a nice sort of looser wet into wet style um, and add not a ton of dry brushing detail in, um, similar to the chickadee tutorial I posted recently. And so I'll just see how that works out. It's sort of me experimenting with my own style. So let's get our colors mixed up here first. I'm gonna cover my painting with paper towel so I don't splash while I'm mixing my colors. I already have some grayish colors mixed up. This was uh, a puddle of neutral tint from Holbein and then this was a puddle of very watered down moon glow by Daniel Smith. I'm just going to wake those up and then we're going to need some blue for the back of the nut hatch. I'm just deciding what type of blue, maybe cerulean, cerulean blue granulates which is nice to add texture to birds. And then I'll maybe do some cobalt blue as well. And ultramarine. Oops. Next, I will mix up some of the peachy orange colors. It's tempting to go straight for orange, but I think that it might be a little bit too bright that way. So I'm gonna do a yellow orange uh, with a bit of Scarlet Lake and just add a tiny bit of ultramarine blue to it to just mute it to down slightly. I'm also going to get some light red. This is quinacridone coral from Daniel Smith and I'm just going to see how that goes mixing that with yellow ochre to get a bit of a peachier tone. I think I'll use those. And then we will need a black for the markings on the head mix up a little bit of just lunar black on its own and then I'm also going to make my homemade black mix which I use neutral tint and burnt sienna I'm going to add a little bit of lunar violet to that as well Now I'm just going to color swatch these and just see how they look. So that's my homemade black. And then I have my lunar black. You can see there's a slight tone difference. And then I've got my light red. I'm just going to switch from my color mixing brush to have some cleaner colors. My peachy quinacridone coral yellow ochre and my yellow orange with scarlet lake. 
And then my blues, cerulean, cobalt, and ultramarine. Oops, and then my grays. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more moon glow. And my watered down neutral tint. So that's quite a nice color range there. I'm going to go ahead with that for starting the painting. I'm going to start with a number four brush and just wash over the entire bird besides the eye and the beak. And I'm just removing a little bit of the excess graphite with my kneaded eraser. And it's important to get a nice even wash with your clean water. It really does set you up for success with your painting. Alright, so my wash is laid in. I'm going to start adding colors in now. And I'm going to start with the orange. Now there is a white area around the bottom of the eye here. So I'm going to drop this orange in and just let it bleed in and then leave that white paper. doesn't really matter if it goes into the black area since that will just cover it up the black and I'm going to pull out a few little feathery flecks as well I'm also just going to take some yellow ochre on its own, I think. A bit of water. And just add this in certain spots. I am going to take my paper towel and just dab up some of this to reserve that white spot. Taking some of my moon glow and just dropping that in in the back here. Now I'm going to go ahead with the blue. And you can see that the wash is drying now. So I'm just going to spread it along a little bit lightly with this cerulean.
grabbing some of the cobalt blue Just dabbing a little bit of the color out of the area. I'm going to paint black. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that to dry before I do my next layer. While the rest of this is drawing, I am going to add in the eye using my homemade black and a double zero brush. Nice fine point. Just wet on dry for this because it's such a tiny spot space. And making sure that I leave that highlight. Just going to map in the beak as well. Already looking a bit more like a bird now that we have the beak and the eye in. So feeling like that's dry. I'm going to add in this black marking, but I'm going to paint clean water over more of the area than in where it is because I want it to be a soft edge. Might be a little too wet right now. I don't want it to spread that much. Let's see. I'm going to dab a little bit of it up. And I'm just going to switch to my number two round brush, just a little bit smaller. And I'm stippling the color in, so I have a bit of a soft edge now, and then I'm defining it 
not all the way to the edge of the first wet wash there, but it'll just make it fade out a little better. I will just let that dry for now. While that is drying, I am going to move on to the foot. We just see one in this drawing. And again, using the number two brush, I'm going to wet it. And I'm just looking at my drawing again, just to make sure I get it right. And I'm going to use the mix of the grays here to just map that in first. And I think I'll switch to an even smaller brush for more control. So my double zero. I wanna take a quick moment to let you know about a live Zoom workshop I'll be offering this spring, 2022. In this workshop, I'll teach you my three-step painting method and show you how to paint a flower. There will also be time at the end of the workshop for some watercolor Q&A. The workshop date is not set yet, but if you're interested, then click on the link in the video description below to learn more about what's offered in this workshop. Everyone is welcome, even if you're a complete beginner, and I'd love to see you there. And the nuthatches have little claws. Well, all birds have little claws, but theirs are curved and important so they can climb up tree trunks. And just let that dry. I'm just going to add in a little tiny bit of a surface here, like a bit of tree bark or something. Very subtle, just wetting that area. And then I just mix some of the black with a bit of the orange to make a brown color. And I'll just paint that in around its feet. Just leave that like that to sort of dry and spread out on its own. This is now dry enough. I have my number four brush, so I'm going to just re-wet the bl uh, sorry, blue area.
And I'll switch, actually I'll stay with that number four, and I'll just grab a little bit of this moon glow and just add it in right on the top of the head as a little bit of reflected light. As well as on the back here. a little bit of shadow. Grabbing the blue again. Just defining the edge here. Mixing up a little bit of cobalt blue and cerulean. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a diluted mix of the black and just swipe it in into certain areas to define these bits of the wings and feathers um, at the back here. And this is just starting to dry up, but I'm just going to keep sculpting a few things while it's still wet enough.
just tidying up the back area here so it's a nice clean line clean edge And I don't want to overwork that too much. It's tempting to keep fiddling around, but I'll just turn into a mucky mess and lose the light. So it's better to stop while you're ahead. I'm not trying to get all the details in. So that looks good there. Just going to add a little bit more cerulean here. Again, just to match up the edge. That's wet paint and dry. So wet on dry, and then I'm just going to blend that out. And I'm just going to let that dry. Now I am just going to build up some color on the belly, the beak, and the legs. And we'll be close to being finished.
am just finishing up the last bit of detail on the feet. And this is a double zero brush. Just trying to get some tiny details in there. I'm just going to turn my painting so it's easier for me to work on. And so the feet are a mix of neutral tint and moon glow for the color. So I have a little water drop there. I'm just going to dab that up. And all right, this is our little nut hatch all finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and subscribe to this channel for regular tutorials and click the bell icon to get notified when I post a new video.